Well, welcome back to Empire Total War. It's the uh, Spanish campaign, and it's the short campaign that we're playing on hard. Um, I've been toying with the idea of attacking here um, with these, just to sort of um, ruin the place, really, um, and then returning to here afterwards, you know, because there don't seem to be any immediate threats around here, do there? So... But then I'm thinking, well, it's only a small place, and I've got to go there and back. I've got to replenish the troops afterwards, kind of fight another battle, aren't I? Um, but, of course, the, um, the, the there might be some other troops behind, you know, that I need to be aware of. But, anyway, never mind. I, I've decided against, on balance. I have decided I want to re try and replenish these. Um, I'm not sure if I looked around for any other pirate ships. I got that one, by the way, that I was talking about, but on the previous video. The only thing is that, by the time I got to them... Um, these ships couldn't reach all the way. I could only attack with these ships here. So I attacked with those, backed up by those, so I could only replenish these two, you see? So there'll be ships in here that really need to have some repairs done. 762 worth. That's quite a lot, isn't it, really? I've looked all the way around for Barbados, because somebody said to me quite a few videos back that Barbado the Barbados port was, was damaged. I can't find any damaged ports whatsoever in the uh, in, in the Americas, so I can't know anything about that. Now, the, the Barbary states seem to want peace with me. You may well have noticed that since um, they've asked for peace, um, no Barbary state ships have appeared around here. So I'm losing money by not um, having peace with them, because I mean, they'll be raiding my trade route. This will be one of mine. They're having a go, as well as everybody else having a go. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go and get peace with them, and see if I can get a load of money off them as well. Perhaps even get trade with them, I don't know. Also, I'm losing money to um, uh, that I would normally get from the Ottomans, because of trade being raided. So, it's this one here, you see. So, I need to sort of make up for that somehow. So, I've decided I am going to go for peace with the, um, the, the Barbary state. So, open negotiations, request peace, request trade agreement, well why not, like I said. I'm going to see if I can get a load of money out of them as well. Um, right, 10,000 to go for, demand payment. Um, and see if they go for that send proposal. Let's... Uh, they don't like 10,000. How about 7,000? Trade agreement, single payment, seven thousand peace treaty. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I can't. I just don't believe that's just happened. Uh, ha, ha, just pay me seven thousand. Wow! How much do I get a trade out of these guys? Seven hundred and forty-six as well. That is just outstanding. Oh, what's my total income now? Um, 5,500. That, that's just amazing. I'm just hoping now that the Ottomans and the Barbary states go for some of these people that are pirating my routes. I, mean, I just don't know, but uh, that, that's astonishing. That's all I can say. It's absolutely astonishing. Right, well, I, I think I'm already replenishing these troops, so I don't need to do anything more there, do I? Um, did I replenish the ones that I put in here? Yes, I did. Oh, everything's been done, isn't it, really? So, I'm already getting my, um, uh, my dot yard there. This one here. Uh, anyway, another story. I'm just thinking now about getting perhaps more infrastructure. I'm thinking about here. Um, I'm only thinking about it because I'm getting all this money. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You see these roads here where trade is going from here and it, it's you know, pretty good trade, isn't it? Five, you know, 3,666. I know the route's being raided, or it will be somewhere along the line, but I think I'll improve my infrastructure in this area. It's only 1,500. I mean, when you think <laughs> how much money I've got right now, uh, that's nothing, is it, really? I wonder, actually, if I replenished all of those um, troops over here. I don't think I did, you know. Let's have a look. Um, do -do 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 -do. No, I didn't do him. Oh, he doesn't need it. Um, oh, does that mean I've done everybody? I have, haven't I? Look at this, I've got all this money, I've got nothing to spend it on. Um, how strange is that? Right, okay. Um, uh, oh, well that's puzzled me now. What do I spend all this money on? Um, right. Uh, these troops here. Well, you know, to be honest with you, I could go over there and attack there, and then replenish these afterwards, can't I? Because I've got plenty of money to do this with. 
and still have money afterwards to do those ships I was looking at. 691, that's all it is. It's like nothing to me, isn't it, now? It might be worth me doing that, you know, just to screw up his economy. Uh, I wonder if I should... 224. I could ruin the place, couldn't I? The only thing is, I'm not too sure if I lose a place, does that sort of go against my um, charisma or whatever you call it in this? Uh, I'm not sure, really. Um, I'm tempted to leave them alone, but then I'm tempted to use the troops rather than just tie them up, doing nothing with them. Uh, no, I think I will simply leave them. There's no way I'm ever going to settle. Actually, they're on a three, aren't they? Do you know that place will settle? I hadn't thought of that. I could actually build that place back up, because I've got enough men in there to keep it secure. The trouble with these places is that they... Oh, I, I'm just wondering, actually, when the next village is due. Oh, it's a long way off, isn't it? I, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'll just keep this place here. i just keep jumping up there and destroying their, their whole way of life. <laughs> Cruel and horrible, aren't I? Right, OK, uh, back to here. Speed that up a bit. OK, and then I should be able to repair, like I said before, repair, replenish, whatever you want to call it, all of those troops there. What a brilliant idea Firefox had, by the way, of getting rid of that, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, church school, whatever you call it, and building another university in there. Wish I'd have thought about that myself a long, long time ago. Video one or two, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I'm still trying to build up my naval power, and until I've done that, um, I won't really be able to reach out to the trade hubs. And do you know, that has so stolen my fire, that. I, I just was, I just really was not expecting that, having all that money. I was really, really surprised. I, I have no idea now what I can spend that amount of money on. Uh, this place is very green. It's on a plus 11. It's got a fairly decent income. I could... Um, um, I could build things like this in here. Iron workshops will give me 1,200 to regional wealth. Wow. And it's currently giving me 800. Oh, it's only another 400. I get 100 per turn, wouldn't I? For all that cost, 2,100. It's a heck of a lot, isn't it, really, for, for what I'm going to get out of it. I, I really don't think there's... Um, uh, I, I think I'm just... I, I'm really, really just going to save the money. I don't suppose I can get better roads in here, can I? Oh, yeah, that one's still getting roads, isn't it? Uh, right, OK, well, I think I've managed to fiddle around enough with doing hardly anything, or rather nothing at all. Uh, is he going back? Yes, he is. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've got no plans for anything. I'm, I'm just going to hang on to the money, 6,783, because I can start buying ships when those dockyards are built, can't I? Um, I can buy them in twos rather than just buy one at a time. It's tempting to move in and take these places, isn't it, or something, but no, nope, that's enough fiddling about, I think uh, yeah I think I'll leave it at that just thinking about recruiting perhaps another decent gun but no, 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 I'm not going to do it, I think I've got enough in those areas, let's actually I could have a dockyard in here somewhere, couldn't I, where can I have a dockyard Ah, now there's something. These chaps here. I'm going to there. Right, okay. Is that can that be a dot yard? It can actually. I'm gonna get a dot yard there as well. So that I've got some um I've got a place where I can recruit some um, decent ships in the Americas as well to take the British on when the time comes. OK, well, I think I've done enough messing around, let's go for it. In a way, I've got no plans for this video, so I should have attacked the British really, shouldn't I? But OK, decision has been made, so leave it at that. I'm still wondering what's happened to those Brits that were in, um, uh, that were in Morocco. <laughs> Okay. Right, I've just finished off my cup of tea, so nobody can take me on. I don't know if I ever discussed that, by the way, but that, that's my secret, you know. Um, th that's how I managed to win these campaigns. It's tea drinking. Yeah, it's, It was the success of the, um, uh, the British, uh, the, the Great British Empire. Um, we, we tried to invite the Americans into the same success, but 
they just tipped it all into the harbour. So um, that's why the Americans are struggling so much now, you see. Um, if they'd have been tea drinkers like the rest of us, then they would now have colonised the whole world. It would be an American empire. Yeah, well, obviously shared with the British, of course, but, you know, um, this is where they, they all went wrong. You know, Tea is the answer, folks. It's the secret weapon. Now... Venetians. I, I, I was just wondering then if they picked up some troops, but I don't think they did, did they? Oh, right, there's some more Indians for me to play with, anyway. I wonder why they didn't go back into their city and repair it, or if you call it a city. Uh, trade route raided. Where's that one? Let's go and have a look. Aha. Well, at least the Barbary States won't be raiding from me anymore, will they? Can I reach that one? Where am I, anyway? I thought I was further down here. I am. Oh, there's no way I'm ever going to reach there. Look at that. Miles away. Okay, so I can't do anything about that one. Um, workers on strike in Georgia. Well, there's no surprise there. I've left it completely empty. Trait gained, right? Oh, I suppose that's a good one. Uh, natural causes. Gentlemen. Where was that? One Joaz, whatever. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's from here. It is. Damn, I can't believe it. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, I'm losing gentlemen from the places where I most need them. Uh, right, construction report. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh good, I've got that road in Spain. That's good. Um, ah, now people will be able to... Oh, will you do me a favour please? Um, oh, I'm not sure it makes any difference actually. Um, oh no, it won't do actually because my Ottoman trade has come back in, hasn't it? Uh, what I wanted to know... Ah, oh, no, it doesn't seem to make much difference, does it, really? Um, oh, my Barbary States trade is cut. That's not good. It's gone from 700 to cut, but these have come back in. Oh, never mind, it's not a bad thing. What I was going to say, anyway, was um, about Madrid. I was curious about how building those roads had improved trade or whatever inside Madrid. Um, but, of course, I didn't take account of it, did I? So, I wonder, if I don't do any other changes in Portugal, if I can find out when that road is built, um, or improved, rather. That's 2,803. If I can remember um, to check it again when this road is completed, it would be interesting to know if it's actually made any difference. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Had a lot of mince pies today. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, it's still there. Damn, I was going to say. Looked like the British had moved on then, but they haven't, have they? Uh, right, dockyard in there. Simple decision. Uh, I can't attack. Well, let me go across there now, because those British ships are in the way, aren't they? I don't want to upgrade that. Um, mm, I really want to expand by taking territories. So there's nothing I want to do anywhere around there. Uh, I could improve my buildings in here. Aha! Yeah, that one just gives me normal artillery, doesn't it? 12 pounder. I think I'm going for the explosive shells, am I? No, not yet, but I will be next time. It'll automatically default to that because it, it follows the trail down, doesn't it? Um, and, of course, fire by rank. Of course that's gone up because I haven't got a gentleman in there anymore. Blast! Now that one will be in the Portugal one. I wonder if I bring the chap over from Portugal, if he can reach the Spanish university. That would be better for me, I think. Uh, him. Where is the Spanish one? It's not that. Oh, it's going to be out of his reach, isn't it? It's going to be there. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know if it's worth bringing him over. I think I might as well leave him there now for one turn, because it's going to take him two turns to get there. Ah, oh dear. That's a blow that I lost my gentleman in that one place where it was so important to me. Right, well, I can't kill any pirates out there. There are no easy targets, from what I can see. Um, I need to repair those ships. Um, so I, I can't see any pirate ships that I can go for around here. And I certainly can't reach the one that's uh, raiding my trade route. So, let's repair all these ships then. Come on, don't mess me around now. Where are you? Come on. Ah, right. Had to think about that then, didn't it? Crikey me. Right, okay. 
Yeah. Now, some of these are already in here, so so they've already been repaired. No, that's odd. Oh yeah, it was just those two, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It was obscured, you see, because of all these stars and things, you know, because he's a, he's a very good admiral, of course. Um, I, I couldn't properly make out whether he'd been um, added to the list of uh, ships that are going to be replenished. Right, 6,399. I'm going to make more. I'm still doing my docks, as I said before, my dockyards. I think I'm just going to stick with that, you know, um, for this turn. I can't really see anything else that I want to do this turn. Uh, I could add a general to there. Actually, it's probably wise, you know, for me to go out there and just attack those. What's he got? Native Americans. Native Americans. Uh, do, do, do. do I go out there and take those? I think I should, you know, really. Um, probably just take them out with the artillery. I think they're already damaged, aren't they? So, yeah, they are. I can probably get there and part way back. Yeah. Uh, should I put a general with it? I think I should, you know. Let's get a general with these. It's 800. Yeah, it's, it's worth doing, I think. Right, OK, that might mean that they can still replenish then. I don't think you can replenish in another territory, but I keep getting told different things, so... hey ho. Right, OK, let's go in there and get rid of these. Otherwise, he's just going to come round here somewhere and raid, isn't he? Wow, we're going to murder him, aren't we? Who has he got? 52 of those, 52, 38 of those. I think they normally have 60, don't they? They're not big units. I mean, they might be 120, but that's all. 12, 6, 7, 7. Um, uh, six, thirteen, seven. Uh, so we've got a good defence. Something we just stand there and defend really and shoot at him, don't we? We're going to lose some men, but we're replenishing anyway. So we'll replenish up to the difference next turn. So let's just go and get rid of him. Um, I'll, I'll let you watch me slaughter the last few Indians. I think that, that should be um about in that should be enough, shouldn't it? Really. Okay, this should go quite quickly. I would hope. Um, let's give these a bit of grape here. He's kept his other troops at the back there, of course. Uh, just warriors now, so... Um, actually... Surely that'll take him out. Right, halt from there. What I don't want is him firing through there. It's shattered. Broken and shattered. So, got no chance, has he? So, let's just um, get them firing again for when he retreats. Uh-huh. Actually... Perhaps we'll just go ball. Uh, shattered. How many has he got? One. Hey, I lost a man there. That's not good, is it? Huh. Oh! I think we totally destroyed him. Right, good. Now, I've only got 20 minutes now because I set the battle time sometime before, didn't I? So, it looks like I'm going to have to go in and chase him, doesn't it? Which is going to be a nuisance, isn't it? Um. So, I'll get somewhere near, and then I'll bring you back in. So, I did say it was going to be a bit of a dull one, this, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I've decided to try and go for it from here. I don't think we can actually hit him, but I'm just hoping he's going to think, well, I'm in artillery fire, so I'll um, start to attack. I don't know, anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, give him a target. 52 and 38. Oh, they can actually get over the brow of the hill, so that's something, I suppose. Um... It looks to me as though they're not going to do anything, actually. I think I'm going to need to get a little bit closer. Come on, just one hit. If I can get one hit, it might just encourage him to come and attack me. I don't think where we are we're going to be able to hit, because we're coming from over a hill, you see. And that hill is forcing a trajectory. Hmm. We hit him. I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we got one. All oh, right. Okay. Lucky shot. Excellent. Well, it's only one of them that's coming forward. I've only got 20 minutes on this video, so I can't mess around too much. I'm gonna have to go out and get them. Come on, hurry up, please. Uh, really is walking along, isn't he? Crikey! Come on, we haven't got all day, lads. Uh. He's got a pretty decent range. They should be able to get him fairly soon. I wonder if it's worth getting training the guns on here. So I might, I might be able to encourage those to come along as well. You know, in the hope that we'll just take these out with our musketeers. Especially the long range Indian ones, you know. These guys here. Alright, he's almost in range already. I just need a hit on there. Just give him a little bit of encouragement.
Oh, still coming. Uh, aha! Now they're about to enter the range of my long range musketry fire. I don't think I'm going to bother with the uh, grape shot. Uh, I think I'm going to just continue to shoot at the ones at the back there in the hope that it encourages them to attack. Uh, on second thoughts, change my mind already. Wavering, 36. Shattered. Shattered. 20 something. Let's get the guns now. On there. Okay. Now, can I get some horse to chase them away? Okay, good. Okay, come and attack me, please. Come on. I think what I'll do then is they're not going to play ball. Oh, they are doing. Are they? Yeah, okay, that's good. I was just going to send out my um, dragoons then. You know, the, the musket armed tribal troops that I've got, whatever they're called, these here, mounted tribal auxiliary. I was going to send those out to skirmish in front of them, shooting them as they went along, but no, they're playing ball now, so that's okay. Actually, it looks as though they might just be heading towards my my own horse. I think he is. Oh, how annoying is that? Okay, get them back. Come on, I've got long. I've got 5 minutes 23 seconds left on here. That's all I've got. How many have you lost? Two. Hmm. Okay. Is he going to go around the flank? I think he might end up doing that, you know. So, let's just refuse the flank. Mm -hmm. oh, I might as well run them. I'm not going to use them again, so I might as well do what I can with them. Right, okay. Um, come on, come and attack me, please. Right. Uh, do I bring all the others round, or do I not bother? I don't know, really. Bit of a pain. I shouldn't really bother, should I? Um, okay. Right, well that should be enough to see them off, really, to be honest with you. I think I might have to halt the gun there. Yeah, I have to halt the gun. Otherwise he's just going to shoot straight through my own man, isn't he? Right, OK, come on. Surely that's enough to see them off. Actually, 33 out of 35. He's hardly lost any. 32. That's not good, is it? Right, OK, let's give him a whiff of grape now, then. Continue. Now we're going to take him out. Okay, well let's. Um, he won't let me. Won't let me halt there now. Right. Okay. Well I need to chase him off the field as soon as he's outside my musketry range, which he now is. Okay. Why can't I stop those guns? Right. Okay. That's it. Who's that? All oh, right. Okay. Right, OK, well he's got 13. We should be able to get him before he gets off the field, I would hope. Ah, I was going to do a close-up, but of course he's all he's amongst the trees, isn't he? Not the kind of territory you want to go charging through with your horse, is it, really? Oh, he stopped! Wow, he actually stopped to fight me, then. He didn't do it very successfully, though, because I didn't lose any men. Come on, where are you? Uh, 
great this, isn't it? Cutting through trees. Huh. What? What are you doing? Come on, he's here. He's running for the trees. Quick! Come on. Ow! Oh. I think he got whipped by a twig or something from that tree. Uh, what about this one? Oh, right, okay. Heroic. <laughs> I love it when he says things like that for murdering Indians. Well, I, I still can't get my head around this Indians, Native American thing yet. I think it's just easier to say Indian than Native American, but... <sighs> anyway, there you go. Down he went. <laughs> and it was a heroic... I did it so heroically, didn't I? Standing off in the distance and mass murdering them all, you know. I lost one. 108 he lost. Oh, dear. I'll have to send a... A letter home to the wife of that soldier there, you know, just saying, oh, dreadfully sorry, he died incredibly bravely fighting Indians. <laughs> yeah, just some little loose tomahawk he tripped over on the floor or something. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's worth doing that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't quite understand why, when these are 100% Catholic, he's in here. I presume he's on his way somewhere. Yes, he is. Right, OK, let's get him over here then, because the idea, of course, is to... Catholicise all of these areas, so it's much easier for me to take them afterwards. So, right, well, that's, uh, that's about it, really. I mean, this place is always happy because I'm not taxing it, and I'm still not going to bother for 70 odd, it's just not worth it. Might have probably had 10 turns, I've probably lost about 800 revenue from that, you know, over the um, time of this game, but I still think it's the best way to go. Trade gain, trade gain, thank you very much. Not even going to read them, um, and no pirates to take. Loads and loads of money to spend, but of course I'm saving the money because I want to build these ships. How many times have I said that now? But um, I should perhaps get rid of that church now. But I do need churches to Christianise people now. And, and I think I'm going to um, find an opportunity fairly soon to build a college somewhere. I don't know where. I just think it's going to appear. R why I haven't been able to build anything here, I just don't know. Well, it's this. Villages are not growing. It's just ridiculous. I just can't make places happy enough, even when they're Catholic. You know, and it's basically because I can't do this upgrade. It's this one here. Where is it? This one. I can't do that because it gives minus one unhappiness. You'll read it in a moment. There it is. Minus one unha in unhappiness. And I think that's a general across the board everywhere. Minus one unhappiness. And I just can't afford to have minus one unhappiness everywhere throughout my empire. We're just not happy enough. And of course when I take new places we're going to have a terrible problem. So here's Georgia. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Um, I so want to build my villages and things but uh, you know until I can feed my populations in those places I'm not going to be able to do it. And it only takes two turns as well. What a nuisance. Mind you, if that one did it it would take... Oh, still only two turns. OK, right, well, that's as much as I can do this turn as well. Um, and I really need now to be building up my navy, so I'm just waiting for an occasion where I can get my decent navy together and sort out these British. Um, and perhaps jump over to Morocco again and destroy their town. Looks like they're building something already there. And over here, this is the one I most want to watch. The other one I can see anyway is this here. They're building a trading port. Oh, that's good, so it's not going to be a... Um, the kind of port where they can get big battleships or anything like that. So, so I think that's uh, a good thing. I'm tempted to get some ships in, in here already, but I want good quality ones, so I'm not going to. Uh, nearly there. OK, come on, it's just going to be an end turn. I haven't got any plans for that, other than really to build the navy on these. Oh, I did the infrastructure on there, didn't I? Yes. No infrastructure really anywhere else that I'm particularly concerned about. Uh, there's this area, but I'm not really that concerned about that. I wonder if I should improve these places to get some better troops out of them. Particularly this one, so I can get some artillery that I can move around a little more effectively. It's not that expensive. I'm going to get that. It's only 12.50, so I, I think I'll go for that one. It might even be worth it. No, I'm not going to spend all my money on a fort there. I've got plenty of men in there, and they're just going to have to do the work for me without hiding behind a fort. OK, let's see what happens next. Now, I can do with some of those pirates in the Americas to come a little bit closer to me so that we can play. Uh, right, what's Britain got in mind this time? He still won't be happy that I've got Gibraltar, but 
he knows now that Gibraltar isn't empty, whereas before it was empty. Oh, blimey, look at the size of that. Oh, oh here's another one. He's come for me. And who are they on his side? Ah. We are fully replenished, of course. Uh, it's in his favour, this. He's got lots of regular troops. Some of them got chevrons. They're slightly depleted. 578 and I've got 789. And this reinforcing army is what? Irregular. They've got 90. Those. 257. He's got about 800, doesn't he, in there? 800 about against 800. But I've got some of this rubbish, haven't I? What have I got in here? On to... Right, OK. Well, there's nothing I can do but defend it, is there? I mean, well, I don't know what he's doing here, I presume. Well, they can't move anyway, so I could form up outside the range of those. I've got two 12-pounders, which I could put anywhere I like, so I just form up very far back. Oh, well, at least we've got a, a battle to watch, haven't we? So let's get into this then and decide what we're going to do. Those um, pandors, maybe I should have looked at them a little closer, but uh, I suspect they're not very good against horse. Not that I've got a lot of horse, that is. Uh, hmm. The problem with my um, firelock arms citizenry is that they're really only good if they're sort of inside buildings. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be much good out in the open, and I'm going to need to um, deploy quite a long way back to keep outside the range of his demi cannons. Um, I, I mean, it's only one. Do I think he's got two guns, but only one of them's a demi cannon. Well, that demi cannon would be completely out of the action if I was to form up outside. So it effectively leaves him a unit down, doesn't it? Hmm. Why on earth didn't I put troops in here a long time ago? I wonder where they've come from. Now Austria is one of my targets, of course. So maybe um, this is my opportunity to just follow them up, chase them all the way back to Austria. Mind you, it's going to take me a while to, you know, to get my troops back to normal, isn't it, after this? Right, well, let's make him go all the way through this town. Do I have to form up in... I do. Oh, dear. I have to form up in the middle, because it looks as though he's attacking me. Ah. And he could come on anywhere. Oh, great. What a nuisance. Um, right, what can I do? So look at this battlefield. Okay, down here, all this is impassable, I would imagine. Uh, yep, all impassable. Um, nothing is coming along there at all. I presume I can hide from any um, artillery that might be firing at them from the top. Anyway, I don't know about anywhere else. Um, it's tempting, isn't it, to um, line up with my back to that area there so that he can't actually reach me. But, having said that... OK, where's he coming from? Where's he supposed to be coming from? He's supposed to be coming from my right, isn't he? Which is over here. Right. They come from all angles, don't they, in these battles? Cool. Is that impassable as well? No, that's all... That's all passable. Hmm. Doesn't look passable, does it? Uh, right. Terrain is a very important issue in these games. Uh, he's going to have to come through the town, isn't he? Oh, the last thing I want is street fight. Oh, look, I get these as well. <laughs> I wonder if I should fortify an area. I wonder if I should actually do that. You know, connect up buildings to make a kind of fort. Maybe that would be a good idea. Let's go and have a look and see what we can do about that then. OK, so... This area doesn't look particularly dangerous because no um, armies can get through. Oh, they can actually. Uh, it's just mm, some parts of it they can get through, others they can't. Right, okay. Well, let's put um, in here then one of my rubbishier troops. What, these? Oh no, not those actually. They can go in buildings. Just ignore that then. Let's give them, what, these then instead. Okay. Right, that's one. Where else can I go to defend this place? Maybe I need to be further back. Gosh. This is going to be complicated. Yeah, let's pull them further back. I'll use... Uh, oh, crikey me, what a mess. 
Right, OK. I'm trying to find out which buildings will connect. You see, look at that. That's impregnable. They can't even knock that down with artillery, can they? Um, right. All of that is virtually impregnable. Right. Oh, crikey. Where do we form? But that's outside the town, isn't it? I have no idea what I'm doing here, folks. No definite plan of action. Right, what about across there? That's too far, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay. Across there. And across there. Oh, blast. Right, those across there. That's looking not too bad. It looks like these will defend themselves. Right, okay, so if I put one... Uh, he's got to come across there instead. So if I put one across here, like that, yeah, okay, that's not bad. These two here, like I said, have got to come across here instead. Across there. Will one go across there? Yeah, that one, that'll do. Just one across there. So that one across there. Right, okay, this one across to here. Like so. Yep. And then... Which one haven't I done? <laughs> this one, the regular unit. I could actually extend it up to there, couldn't I? Hmm, let me think. Uh, no. Let's not get too complicated about this. This one here, across to there. Yep. Okay, and then another regular unit, that's this one here, can go um, where can he go? Across here. Okay, now who isn't in position yet? He is. He is. Right. He is. And he is. What about him? He is as well. So all my regular troops are in position. And I've got gaps. So it's not going to work. Mm hmm. Less gaps, chaps. Less gaps. Um. I need to defend a smaller area, it seems. Uh, mm, damn. What do I do? Um, right. Okay. Smaller area. Oh, come on. Behave. Right, him across there. Right, good. Now, him and him. Yep. Across here. Yep. Right, now. Uh, him. Uh, where? Across here. Oh, come on. Won't let him form up because of the terrain. Okay, him across there. Right, okay. And then him. Is that it? We've got the area covered now. Not quite. We still need this part here, don't we? Him across there. Okay, I've got it all covered now. Uh, I think no is the answer to that. Okay, right, very small area now that we're defending. Uh, and that's all the men. What about this chap? Where's he? He's there. Right, okay, well, I want him. Oh, why can't we go inside there? Oh, no, I thought that was an occupiable building. Oh, what's an occupiable building then? I think I should have formed this up and then showed you afterwards, shouldn't I? Um, surely those buildings are occupiable. Well, 
Well, look, never mind. It's just going to be a nightmare, this. So I'm going to put them inside here. Um, hoping that that becomes an occupiable building as time goes on. Uh, right, OK. Now, I need to think about where I'm going to put my artillery. Artillery should go on a hill somewhere, but it's not going to. The most likely place for him to attack is going to be over to the right, so it's over here. Um, so I want then my artillery. It could extend this area a bit, couldn't it? Hmm. I wonder if my gunners can go outside there like that and then run back inside when the time comes. So I mean, just put them outside there and hope for the best. <laughs> um, uh, another gun, maybe? Not there, because he can't fight. He'd have to shoot that place down first, wouldn't he? Before he did anything else. Which is probably not such a bad thing, actually, if he does that. Right, OK. Um, why not? Why not have another gun there? Like so. And then, again, messing around, extend my line. Perhaps to there. And then um, to here somewhere. Perhaps... Oh, what a mess. There. Um, I think that's it now, isn't it? OK, now I need some horse. And I'll put my horse behind my artillery, ready to charge out of there when the moment arises, and I'm sure it will. OK. And I think that's it, isn't it? Is that everybody? At last. Yes, that's everybody. God, blimey, what a lot of messing about that was. Right, OK. Uh, let's see what happens then. See where he comes on. Oh, he's only got 20 minutes. I forgot as well. I'd set the time, hadn't I? Ha! Huh. Very good. Right, can I destroy this building? <laughs> Certainly think I ought to. Where are his troops going to arrive? Not that side, they're coming this side. Oh, great. Completely the opposite side from where I formed up. Which is, I don't think, very fair, because... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I'll just... Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe he does come on... Well, he is coming on the right, there's no doubt about it, but... OK, can I put troops in? I can't. Why can't I put troops in there? Right, OK. Where can I put... What are they? They're a regiment of horse. Blast. Left them outside by mistake. Let's just halt the fire of those for a moment while I get the horse back in. <laughs> um, there should be some buildings, you know, those little gold things floating around on top of them so that I could put my men inside. And I can't find any. Uh, ah! There's one there. Well, let's put them both in there. There's another one there. Oh, blast. I should have had my men down there, shouldn't I? No, actually, there's one here. Let's put one in there. Okay, is there another one nearby? Where is it? It's such a shame I can't put them in that church there. Oh, maybe that's... Uh, not a very good thing to do, put them inside a church, I don't know. Right, OK, so they should now be able to advance over here without having to go over the Chevrolet Free. A little bit of luck. Yeah. OK, right, well, um, I think we'll just leave them to shoot at people when they arrive. Well, that's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? Right, OK, well, everybody else, um, all the foot anyway, just do a control M, that selects all of those. They should all be on guard mode, which they now are. And that's it, all we can do now is wait, isn't it? So he's got to wend his way through all the streets. And, damn, look at the time. Um, this is becoming a very, very long video. Um, I shouldn't have got into this battle, really. I should have um, finished the game just before it and then fought this battle on the next video. 
I could always record it in two halves. Finish it off over the next video, couldn't I? Yeah. I think I will, actually. I'm going to finish this here. And then I'm going to put all this on the next video. Um, and then you can see what happens. Okay, bit of a cliffhanger there for you, folks.